Hi friends! I've been wanting to make a cast resin tray for a while now. They are also called rolling trays. I don't know why people would be rolling anything on these trays. But when I saw this mold on a Facebook group, I was like, I have to have this mold. It's made by a shop called Shop Goody Studio, and it's this nice lady who makes the blanks and the molds themselves. Um, and it came and it was wonderful, as you will see. I also attempted to dye my resin with some really old acrylic paint. Wouldn't recommend it, but it did turn out really cool. One of my good friend's birthdays was coming up and I wanted to make her something special. And she's, she's a big fan of the 4th of July, so I wanted to do something red or blue but also space themed and you know uh, put some glass glitter in there because glass glitter is just a fancy version of regular glitter not that there's anything wrong with regular glitter so yeah uh, I hope you like this video of me trying out a resin tray for the first time I hope you enjoy it and you learn something because I just kind of I just kind of did it I didn't really have a plan I don't really ever have a plan uh, so enjoy so I got this mold from Shop Goody Studio and I saw it and I fell in love with it and I couldn't wait to try it out. I'm just gonna also try out some acrylic paint dye, which I've never done before and it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, but nonetheless it did still look pretty darn cool. This paint had to be at least a decade old, which is probably my first problem. I've heard that this can work better, but it probably helps if your acrylic is maybe a little bit newer than that. Adding a little bit of white into my acrylic dye just to lighten it up. I started off with a kind of a dirty pour technique where you drop in some pigment or some dye and you swirl it around a little bit and then you pour it in. I noticed that the resin had a little bit of a problem with the bubbles sticking to the relief on the mold for the embossed part, but after hitting it with a heat gun, uh, and it's sitting and degassing for a while. I didn't really have any issues with the bubbles. I do suggest you use a longer setting resin, 24 hour more fluid resin, uh, rather than a high viscosity resin. At this point, I noticed that my surface wasn't level, which is a very new move. So I just ended up putting a tray under it and kind of sh shimming it to a point where it was completely level. Now I'm just adding some of the mixed color in. I wanted to make kind of like a nebula feel to it, so I did them kind of randomly into the dirty pour and as you'll see I'll kind of try and mix them together get them flowing together and of course we need some glitter and shine and I'm using my favorite glass glitter um, and I'm using it in kind of a diagonal way to kind of make the composition cooler kind of maybe how you would look out into the Milky Way and see a line of stars. At this point I started adding some black alcohol ink in um, I'm not sure why I did this. I think maybe I just wanted to try and add a 3D effect to the blackness. Um, spraying it with some alcohol 
to te could just test it out, I guess. And it did cool, cool stuff. It started making the black ink kind of spread out in a really cool fashion. So that's a cool thing to know. Here I'm adding in some white alcohol ink to add a little dimension and I was hoping to get like a drop effect but that didn't end up happening. I'm not sure if I used my Pinata brand white ink or if this was Bellette's resin brand. I found that the Pinata ink, white ink, works best when you're trying to get that petri dish effect. Here I'm adding in a little diluted alcohol ink um, just to see what would happen. I diluted it with some alcohol, just pure high percentage alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and it did start spreading pretty quickly, so that was cool. Hitting it with a heat gun just to kind of move around the, the ink and yeah, just experimenting. This is the next day. It came out really cool. Um, I did want to add a final layer of a black backing to make the black space sky void. I'm very excited to demold this. Whenever I use this this resin die, it kind of makes a weird pattern, but I'm not too worried about that. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. The white, wow, this is super like 4th of July themed, but the, the red is like red, white, and blue, and I can see almost zero bubbles. So cool. I see some of the white here coming up. I think I'm going to fill in this, um, emboss part with some paint to really make that pop. A little galaxy of stars. So here I'll be adding some silver paint into the embossed crevices of this tray and I've heard baby wipes work pretty well for removing the excess paint and they do for me. Um, the only problem with the baby wipes that I had is they were leaving little fibers behind which was kind of annoying. I feel like there might be a better quality or technique that I can find at some point. I don't have any cool footage of the finished product. I should have thought of that before I gave it away as a present, but yes, you saw it, so, and it was cool, so I don't think that's good enough. I'm almost monetized. I'm so excited. Uh, it took me a while to reach this goal and just you know take it from me never give up never surrender always work your hardest to achieve what you want and it will happen none of this manifestation bullcrap 
it's literally just to put your nose to the grindstone and visualize it and sure but it's not going to come to you you have to go to it and sometimes things do fall into people's laps but most of the time it's hard work determination and being a Taurus in my experience anyway thank you so much for all your love all your support all your engagement I love it I love talking to you guys I love answering your questions I love helping you out love it what do I usually say leave a like so the algorithm knows what's up leave a comment let me know what you think if you have any like cool resin tray molds that you use or how you make your tray specifically I think they're really neat and functional and I'm definitely gonna make more of them hope you have a wonderful day bye